Here we are, my friends, in the second bending graveyard yard. This is on the north side of the street where we are and where we refurbish equipment. This is one of our storage yards. As you can see, there's a little of everything on this side too. Dixie Narco DN5000 there. Got an AMS chiller and a 148 National GPL National Combo. Those are getting kind of scarce. Cans and snacks. And Terry's. And a lot of AP snacks. 7600s and 6600s. Comes the BART train again. It's the last time anybody saw a Rockola CCA5, I think is what that's called. Here's a baby Bev Max 3561. Got a few of those. Also got a few of those Dixie Narco 501s with the live display. Now as you'll start to notice on pallets, we have a tremendous amount of office coffee, water coolers, bulk food dispensers for cereal and things in lunch rooms. We probably have 50 or 60 pallets of lunchroom equipment as far as coffee and everything else associated with it. There's a 432 cold food machine. We got about six of those. Some more AP snacks. A little bit later model USI snack. Under a lot of these tarps outside are office coffee units countertop styles. These are not coin operated but they're meant for higher end uh, offices, white collar type deals. This line on the left side goes back about 10 deep. I wish I could find a space to show you just how far back it goes. Maybe we'll get an aisle up here. So you can imagine or get the gist of how many pieces of equipment are actually here. see that row on the top goes back one two three four five six maybe seven deep these are all pallets of coolers coffee service units there's a USI soda 1200 model we have a lot of these bulk dispensers that I think they put things like cereal in they made big racks of these I'll show you a little closer Yep, those are cereal. You could walk along the counter there and turn the crank, get a bowl of cereal, get some milk in the mornings. We're in the heart of Silicon Valley, and these big companies really cater to their employees. They want to be sure they are comfortable and fed. We're about three quarters of the way back in this yard, as you can see, the stuff is just literally stacked to the sky. Double row of a lot of AP snacks. 113s, 123s, a few a little bit later model. I may have mentioned in the first video we have a tremendous amount of 147s and 148 Crane Nationals. We have a lot of 431 Shopatron cold food machines by Crane. We also have a tremendous amount of 7600s and 6600 snacks. These are the ones that they make what's called a revision door, so you can get the guaranteed delivery system, convert them to MDB, plus they are ADA, American Disabilities Act approved. There's some nice APs here. Anything here can be bought by the truckload, by the piece, as is, fully reconditioned, or just plain as is, as I'm showing you today. I can't get back much further due to the fact that there's a what looks like a stalled forklift in my way here. But it goes back another, oh, 60 or 80 feet. 
and everything back here is on a pallet and that's all coffee service we could probably ship four semi loads of office coffee bun and Ferguson and all the rest just about everything we have here is American made most of the imported stuff they scrap due to reliability and due to the fact that parts are not available if you need stuff for your coffee stations at work we are bound to have it walk down the rest of this row on the way out of here you guys get the idea if there's anything here you like if you need vending equipment message me in the comment section and I will email you I will call you we are in the San Francisco Bay Area and we are motivated here comes the BART train seven minutes whether we need it or not we deal with old BART the area rapid transit like I was saying if you need anything to do with vending equipment this is only our outdoor storage we have two warehouses inside where all the refurbished equipment is a lot of its wrapped and palleted and packaged and ready to ship we do ship all over the US we have the best freight rate in the country let me know your zip code and we'll get you a freight rate Time for Bart and we'll head out. That's our yard across the street where we have a lot more equipment as seen in video number one. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching.